Hi guys. Right, so I'm coming on to share my prints for Feb U Jelly. <laughs> I keep saying it so wrong, I've spelt it wrong, I've had to change my thumbnail because I spelt it wrong. Um right, I'm gonna share my prints that I've made and I've cut down. Also, tonight, I have found out how I've done these flowers. It's been bugging me all day. Now, I, did, I haven't done these. I made these flowers, um, these flower prints. When did I do these? It wasn't last year. It could have been the, last, the year before. It could have been the year before that. So they're like probably three maybe three to they could even be four years old so anywhere up from four years to now when i first got my jelly print um plate but i thought they were lovely i've done some more designs like this i don't know if i've got right so this is my jelly print or painty papers folder well, I usually stick in all my bits and bobs. Um, and these go back four years, some of them. But look, I made that one as well. Um, some of them are a bit bright, hippie style. Um, I'm sure I have some, a lot of these are scrap, um, scrap ones I've got. All different ones that I've experimented with leaves on them. I don't want to show them all because some of them are horrible. Look, that's a leaf on book paper. There's another leaf on some book paper. I've got all different ones. I don't know what that leaf is, but there's a lot of them trees around here. Um, just scribbles like that like that they're just on book papers yeah i mean i had a couple more of these and they were very similar to that color but i've remembered how to do these now and that's what the reason of finding this because that's got no i years ago when d started doing the jelly plate printing and I bought a jet that's when I bought my jelly um plate back then when she started her series when I was only a watcher and not even on YouTube I was only on YouTube watching her she had bought from Hobbycraft one of those kiddies paint sets it was this one here but I've lost most of the bits in it do you remember these day so I've only got three pieces left in there and I had one out on the table earlier which had a sponge but it used to contain, let me just show you a picture because I went online and just took a screenshot of a different set but it's got the same thing in it. They used to contain these, will that show up I wonder because it's white on white again and maybe turn the light off. And it may right now you can see it you see these um sponge dobbers these round sponge dobbers at the top there yeah now you can see it well it contained one of those and that's what i've done with the middles of the flowers and also it contained this thing you see that green one which i've gone round it in a ring I don't know, I lost that years ago. But I need to get another one of them. And that's what made the flowers. And that's what's missing from my set now because it must have got really messed up with paint that I threw it out or it might have broken or something like that or it would still be in the set. But um, that's how I made these flowers by blodging them on and then putting on top um the gold metallic paint in the foam um the round foam dobs in the middles then 
And you see, look at all them colour. Oh, I've got no light on now. Sorry. There we go. And that's what happened. So what i done with this, I looking at it, I laid some paint out underneath and I took a print. Say like, for instance, something like that, yeah? I took a print and then what i done is I added some paint to somewhere else, like on an acrylic block or something. And then I dab that paint onto the jelly print to do the flowers. Then I dab the gold on with the little round sponge in, on the flowers. Then I re-put over the, um, you know, the printed dry one on the top. And then that's how these come out. So I'm remembering how I've done them now. So yeah. I think they come out really nice, and especially with the metallic in. These two are the prettiest. I cut these up recently to put onto one of my um, bag journals, you know, my paper bag journals. See how, how pretty they are? And this has got like lavender and blue in the background, light blue, and this has got like a teal blue and then it goes into like a cream colour and that pink on the top is gorgeous. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to get another one of them sponge dobbers and them other clothy things, whatever they're called. Right, so now I'm going to take you through the ones that I've done in my first part of the series for Febu Jelly. And um, these are what I've printed out. So this first one... It's got a bubble um, wrap design, a medium bubble wrap design in it. That's got, um, it's got green in it, which is the green yellow, which is, um, it's like um, glittery, you know, it's uh, iridescent is the word I'm looking for. Then we've got a slight pink and purple and then We've got the yellow orc and some orange in there. And then we've got some white um, oh, bubble wrap. Sorry about that. Right, and then we've got the giant bubble wrap in two colours. That was a two-part stage. Because it didn't print this side, so I had to do the bubble um, giant bubble wrap again. So that's how that come out. Then we had the giant, but this was a really ugly piece of paper. It went muddy underneath. It had green and orange in it that intermixed and it went really muddy and brown. So I done white um, bubble, large bubbles over the top and I love the size of them bubbles. Look, you can see by the size of my finger there how big them bubbles are. But I like the impressions in them. Look, you can see all the um the crinkles in there so if you get any very large bubble wrap save it you usually get that wrapped in large amount you get and that and um, this was just a pull off i just printed this over um a scrap piece that i was rolling off and then put some of the bubbles the medium sized bubble wrap on top and i think it's pretty just to use as a background paper, you know. You could print on that, um, put some stamps on it or whatever, some inks. This is my absolute favourite out of the lot. And this green-yellow paint has got that iridescence in it and it's beautiful. I don't know if I can get it to shine there. It's got like a gold shine to it. Can you see that? I think you can. But that is my favourite. That's with the large bubbles. It went off a bit each side, but that's great, really, the way it's turned out. You know, because you can't judge where you're putting the paper, really, when you've only got a small jelly print and you've got larger paper. But I love that. It's, it's like a bohemian look, isn't it? Really. Then we've got... This one was a disaster. It was just a printout, you know, where I was rubbing the paint off. 
and then it went from black to a light brown with a bit of gold with a bit of grain and I thought there's nothing I can't save that and then I decided to put the large bubbles with a little dab of white paint on the top and it's not too bad actually now it looks better in person it looks like it's all textured up doesn't it so I will use that in something it's not too bad at all then that was just a scrap piece, but I saved that because I thought that was nice, the colours in it. It was like 1980s colour block. <laughs> but I like it. <sighs> very, very um, striking when you look at it because that iridescence in it. Very neons. And look at that gold. Look. On that green. Now oh, that's shimmering. But look at the bits in there now this pattern along the bottom here I put on that way was my toilet roll um, with the string on it and here as well going down that way and then I put on bubble wrap there and just this cup the bottom of this cup I kept stamping there and there and there and just doing some little touches on it but I think that come out and there was a bit I went straight down there but you can't see it properly but yeah that is okay this one was a very poor print but I put some bubbles on the top of it some of the larger bubbles it's very um pastely but it can be used this is on a piece of card so you can still see that iridescence in there from that green and it's gone into the orange. This was very pretty as well. Let me put it round, say that way. Is that dry? Yeah. It's got a lot of colours in it. Um, this was done using one of those foam um, sponges because you can see the blocks on there. If you see the blocks, you can see them up here and over here. You can see where the blocks have been. Um, what else is on there? So we've got the um, toilet roll string thing going that way. We've got the round bits from that. And then we've got a little slight bit of bubble wrap going on here and there. And then we've got them blocks going across. And it's giving it a lot of sort of texture. And then lastly, we have this one. This is the last one. And um, I think that's come out all right. I wanted to try and get more colour in the print, you know. Um, we've got... Um, We've got the pink and we've got that iridescent, sparkly, shimmery, green, yellow, plus that beautiful turquoise. We've got the, what is it called? Dilutions. It's a new pink colour they're doing. It's very bright. And then I've got white bubble wrap, the small one and the medium. So the smaller one down here and then the medium up there. So we've got a lot of texture going on. So yeah, that's it then. That's all my bubble, um, not bubble wrap. That's all my um, prints all done. Um, as I said, I didn't do them this time. I'd done these ones years ago, but now I know and remembered how to do them because it's been bugging me all day since I made the last video, um, the part one, which I'll link down below somewhere so you can go over and watch that if you haven't already. Um, I will have to get some more of them tools to do that because I really enjoyed making them different flowers. And you can make them pretty colours as well. Um, yeah, so go, pop over to Betsy Doodle's channel. She's a very inspirational crafter. She's been around for years. Been around the block. <laughs> now we've got Bailey going up and down, up and down. Can you please lay down a minute? 
she's a great crafter anyway and also me uh, crafty michelle is doing well i'm in the collab it's our our collab and um we're in a club together it's hosted by crafty michelle so pop along over there she's doing some jelly printing and i'm doing some jelly printing i've got some more videos coming out shortly hop over to dee's channel who's betsy doodle show us some love and then go over to crafty michelle's channel and show her some love just say that crazy tracy said <laughs> sent me over <laughs> okay i love you guys and thank you so much for your support and i do appreciate you all and thank you every new subscriber thank you for popping over um welcome to my channel everyone that's just joined and thank you for for um watching my videos remember to like and uh leave me a comment so i can um interact with you and i'll leave all the stuff in the description box so it's easier for you you all take care stay warm and stay safe okay bye